This is the first match of Group A with already an insane game. We have Unleashed against PogChamp. Two potential top... Like, actually, both teams could be winning this tournament. And this is the first group stage game. We have a triple support Venusaur team comp against the Sidroy, Hooper, Trevlin, Blastoise, and Lucario. So very, very different team comps. Nine different... No, almost eight different characters. We have a double Lucario. We have a double Hooper. Besides that, very, very different approach to the game from both sides. Very, very different. Pogchamp going for the triple support bot lane with the Blissey, Hooper, and Elegos. And let's protect the President Venusaur team comp. It's all gonna be come down to this Venusaur. But we also have Sayu, who is one of the best Lucario players in the world. He's absolutely insane on this Pokemon. But he does win, he does get Caster Cursed here and loses the first Apom. Over to Klaus. Klaus also a very, very solid Lucario player. Bot lane order fighting going on already. And Blissey, is he able to steal it away? No, Vieto san can't get it. And he's under a lot of pressure now. Might get auto attack slowed. Yeah, there we go. The boosted auto attack off. Blastoise slows and uh, gets water gun back, and there's, there's the kill. First blood going going over to Xanti on the Squirtle. On top side now, Yoshi with a very early gank. Skipped his Corp fishes, both of them actually. Skipped both of them to gank top very, very early. Yeah, Sayu is absolutely insane in Lucario. That, this guy just makes his Pokemon seem even more OP than it already is. He is European's overlord. Absolutely insane on this Pokemon. He's gonna get level 5, but Klaus is also level 5. And they're gonna be first here. And they're just gonna get every single B. They secure every single B, I think. Actually, did one of them go to Venusaur? Not sure, the big one. But Klaus is very, very low, but does live. And the berry gets stolen right in front of his face. Hooper with his passive is able to see the berry away from Klaus. And Sayu, there's the kill. Sayu with a nice kill. Double extreme speed, takes on Klaus. And bot lane, Xanti also dying. Xanti dying to the triple support. It might look like a triple support, but these two, these three Pokemon do crazy damage early game. All of them. All of them do absolutely insane damage. Have very good last hitting as well. But Kegogami actually securing this last hit there with the tree. Level 5 and a half now is gonna get his curse. Or is he gonna be Wotemmer? He's actually Wotemmer! It is a Wotemmer Trevenant. Not the biggest fan of it, but we'll see how it turns out to be. Top lane still being very even. Both who carry pretty much the same experience. Klaus taking a lot of damage so there. Didn't have an extreme speed to get out, just had to take a lot of damage. Alright, Kelvin, 6.5, and, and Venusaur also 6.5. Both junglers not with the highest experience count yet. And both are very strong level 7 Pokemon actually. They don't need, necessarily need level 9. We have Petted and Giga Drain, which is just needs level 7. And we have Disenjoy, who just needs a Spirit Checker. Gets hyperspace to bot lane. So we, we see one hyperspace and one trick. Trick on the side of the Venusaur to obviously make Venusaur stronger. And left side, we have hyperspace for more rotations. It's not really good with Shaky to dry. Um, so yeah, don't really need trick in this game necessarily, especially after I got nerfed. And he's still struggling to fight level 7 though. He's gonna pick this up now, and Yoshi actually on top side, he's just looking for level 9. He's trying his hardest to fight level 9. Let's see if Unleash can punish this and just instantly start the strat. Looks like they might. Then position for it. Spirit Shaky has come out, he gets one Apom last hit. I mean, Odino last hit. And some nice poke as well, and they're starting it, but Saru is already here. But I think he missed his extreme speed. Yeah, he did. Xanti, no. Water spouting on him. Can't really find the kill though. Klaus is here as well. No, and Yoshi, Yoshi actually goes down. That's the most important character. The president is down. Let's see if Saru can someone do something. He's half HP though. Is he gonna kill the Sidroy? Yeah, he just kills the Sidroy. Cleanly done. Three extreme speeds. Resets one with the bone rush on the Sidroy as well. And just kills him as well. Both Shanglers are down. Who's gonna get this one? It actually goes to Trevenant. Trevenant with the big wood hammer. Bonking Dreadnor, getting his team the first objective of the game. Nicely done. With Gekogami there securing it. We see probably a coin flip, but still. Secures it. Klaus now level 9. Sayu level 8 only. And Pog Champs are going to be very, very grand in experience now. All supports are only level 6. So very, very far away for them getting Unite moves now. They have to hurry up. They might not be able to get Unite moves night just for the second Dreadnor if they are. It's hard to farm experience, right, for these Pokemon sometimes. And Eligos is only level 6. Only level 6. And now the Sid Drive staying bot lane, he's gonna snipe these Odinos away. And it's gonna be very hard for them to, on bot side to get any more Odinos if Kelvin just decides to stay here. I mean, they could just do it, and they can always send Blastoise into the jungle as well, let him clear stuff. There's a huge Blastoise Unite, hitting two targets, but one gets, I think, unstoppable by the Venusaur. Now Sayu counter Unite moving, can they find Trevenant? Yes, they're gonna kill Trevenant, but the Temma comes down! And it's not enough, the Water Spot Rapid Spin, can they do anything to the Venusaur? The Venusaur is super low, Klaus is looking for the kill. 
Can you find that? Can you find the kill? No, Blissey Unite comes off and there's so much healing. Still Buddy Bearers as well, healing everyone back up. And we just lost back to half HP. Some of Gear Drains, Klaus is back top as well now. Kelvin top. And Rotom is being attacked. We do have a Spirit Checker though. Spirit Checker is the best last hit out of every Pokemon I think in this game from the basic abilities that are currently of these 10 in this game. And he doesn't really get it though, but his team does get it. Unleashed, claims another big uh, objective, gets the Rotom on top side. Wood Tempers are coming down. I really don't feel like the Wood Tempers going to do too much later late in late game team fights. Some more Spirit Check hits, kind of missing a bit. It's going to hit one here. This is very, very low. Actually, Proxy's Focus Band is very important for the next team fight. Which happens in 10 seconds. And you see all of Unleashed being topside still. Just actually, I'm going to turn off the music. It's distracting. They're all on top side because they have a Hooper. Hooper can just port them to bot side without any issues. And that's why you can see entire team of Unleashed still on top side. Since they have a Hooper, can just port his entire team in if they want to. Even with Hyperspace as well. It doesn't even use Unite move here. Just Hyperspace them in. But uh, Pog Champs, leashing this quite a lot, quite far away, making it reset. No one leashes starting to attack it. Klaus still taking a mix right now, which he can. Again, he has a Hooper. Can always get pot into the fight, so he can do much, much more. And there it is. There's Hooper dropping both Unites, and I think this is going to be a flip, though. Last is Unite. Might get it. And does he get it? No, it goes off the Sidrai. This time the Spirit Checker, perfectly timed. Gets it. They do lose one. They do lose Lucario, but they get two kills in exchange. Both Lucarios are dead. This is going to die. Trevin is dead as well. That's a 2 for 2 so far. Xanti trying to find anything he can, but Yoshi is still full HP. And this Venus is absolutely scary right now. Yeah, he's just running in, boost auto taking. They do get away from him. And all the spirit checkers are going to be here. Edicos actually just unite moving to zone them a bit. Blood knocks them away, and they get a nice 50 cap in. 40 and 50 going for Pog Champs. Not too bad. Kevin not looking for the super on the back out, but can't really find much. We have 1 minute 20 until Zepter spawns. One more Rotom is going to happen as well. Um, if Pogchamp wants this, they have to kill the Skull, obviously. Otherwise, it's going to be quite bad. We don't want that to happen. There's more hyperspaces. Are you guys talking about Cam? What happened? What happened? Are you saying that? Rotom is being attacked. Or unleashed. And Sai is just trying to kill the goal, but he can't. He has to e speed back out. And he's totally fine. Totally fine. Rotom goes over to the side of Pogchamps, actually. But now I think, yeah, Unleashed is gonna let this go in or not? Are they gonna let this Rotom go in? They might damage it a bit and then let it go in when it's like low on points. There we go. Damaging it a bit. But actually, it walks back to the position still. It's, <laughs> it's still there right now on 12 HP. There we go. They're gonna let it go in now so the goal dies, which is always the right direction. It just makes the most sense. It will stop a big overcap during the Zepdos time, which could be crucial. It could be very, very crucial. 15 seconds until Zepdos. We have the Sidra on level 12, but most important, Venusaur is level 13. This Venusaur is going to be the one that decides the game. If Venusaur dies, I don't think there's any chance for Pogchamps, and he might just be able to kill everything. So, Zepdos fight is happening. The only problem that Pogchamps has, they have really pretty bad Zepdos damage. And, but they're head, they're head in points right now, so they don't really care about Zepdos, they know they're head. They just saw the message as well. Unleash has to make something happen. And Sayu, spotting them out? Is he gonna look for some extreme speeds? But the Shadow, Shadow Sneak scouts them out. That's also the reason why I like Shadow Sneak, can't really get ambushed in these late game fights. And Gekugami's gonna get 80 points in. He's gonna put them almost into the lead, there's 3 points difference now. But no, Xanti is also capping 100 on top side. And now, Pogchamps has to do something. Nice caps and they're scudding Zepdos. They want they want to bait unleash into a fight. We do have Muscle Band on Venusaur, which means the Zepdos can still die easily. But yeah, okay, there's the Hooper Unite coming out for the side of Unleashed and they're porting everyone in. But Decidui is dead! Sayu in a 1v3 finding a kill in the backside. Killing the Decidui without any problems apparently. And now it's looking terrible for Unleashed. Always Santi just in the in the back. He's actually night moving, eject butting and hitting four targets, but there's too many shields. Too many sheets on the set of Pogchamps, I don't think there's much they can do about this. Santi just spinning away, trying to live, and Pogchamps is gonna go back to Zepdos now. We have Hooper respawning. What can they do with this? Zepdos is slowly dying, it's under half HP, we have 50 seconds to go. And it's gonna be very close. And we have still the Sidroi, we have this, we have Spirit Checker. So they have to kind of start zoning him out, where he's gonna go for it. But there's the Sayu, Sayu's back, and the Sidroi just disappears. Servus is also gonna die any moment now, there we go, Hooper dies. Can Gekugami be the saver? Roxanti maybe even? No, it goes over to Venusaur. 
Fatal Soul secures the Zepdos. They still have to make it though, they have 30 seconds, but there should be enough time. Klaus last man standing for unleashed. And Klaus goes down. They just kill the Decidui very cleanly and then go back to Zepdos afterwards. 1 0 for Pogchamps. Serenaboat comes through. And Pogcham wins the first game of the Eos Cup. Look at some damage numbers. There we go. Don't get confused. The victory thingy was a bug there. Don't get too confused by this. First win for Pogchamps. For the French team. Game number two between Unleashed and Pogchamp. And we have the same team. No, we don't have the same team comps. How are you actually going for Serena over Lucario? Interesting. He had such a good Lucario game last game as well. Decides to go into Serena. Quite unexpected. Didn't expect Sayu to be the one person to switch away from Lucario, especially after winning. A very, very, very hard game one. Let's see what he does with this. Let's see what he does with this, Serena. Sadly, I don't know the head items, guys, but because I have to spectate over my friend list, um, so I sadly can't tell you guys the head items or show them. So yeah, I just have to guess. But I assume it's probably going to be some attack weight, focus band. Shenanigans on the Serena. And this time we actually have also Andish switching things up, going for a 2 1 2 this time. Going for a 2 1 2. And uh, this Serena is going to be sad. Serena is. There's no chance. But he actually gets the last hit there. He gets the first last hit, somehow gets the Corpfish. But besides that, he has a very, very hard time in a 1v2. Serena absolutely struggles with that. But I think they're kind of messing up. The quick attack is gone, but the Meteor Mesh gets this one A bomb. And Klaus is going for the attack rate stacks himself. Looking at what side. Xanti and Gekko are just gonna try their hardest to just stay alive and try to get as many dust as they can. And Sayu's almost dying there. Does it? Yeah, there's a the focus band. Focus band gets blocked. Is he gonna die as well? He just runs into Lucario and gets taken down. Sayu goes down on the Serena. Klaus on level 5 for the first beast. And that looked kind of weird. He's kind of just walking to his death. Maybe he thought he could do a bit more than he could have done. And we have three people topside. Kelvin and Servas also top. The beasts are gonna. Just disappear. There's the also the Meteor Mesh Extreme Speed trick. You can use uh, Meteor Mesh during your Extreme Speed. That has been recently discovered and it makes the animation kinda much easier and much faster. Kekugami might die, gets slapped by all these support. All these support is auto taking so much, but he makes it back to his goal in time. They are going to score once. One berry gets thrown away as well. Xanti now dropping very low on the Squirtle. But yeah, they can't do much against this, right? They just have to let them have it. And that's pretty much about it. Hyperspace comes through as well. Is Hooper gonna go botlane? Yeah, Hooper goes botlane. And Serena dies in the enemy jungle. Serena dies in the enemy jungle. Kevin going back to his own jungle now. Trying to get level 7. Yoshi 6.5 now. Looking for these pop A pumps maybe. But Klaus is here. Is he gonna go for the E speed? Yeah. Goes for the E speed. Just full heal just in case a boosted auto tank comes through. Because the boosted auto tank can cancel a extreme speed. So just make sure he gets that one last hit. Shouldn't really matter too much using full heal for that. And I mean, it's, let's see if he goes for Wotama again. He's playing Potion, yes. He's playing Potion again on the, the Trevenant. And he also has been playing Wotama as well. Just a lot of sustain. Windows almost level 7 now. He's are spawning in 20 seconds again. And Geku Gami still only level 4 then. Same for Squirtle. So they actually have no chance on here. Blissey already level 7. Blissey is level 7. They run in and uh, trying to score some points here. He's just burning from the curse right now. Or from the Willow Wisp and couldn't really score, but still gets it off. And uh, Yoshi is very aggressive now. They're gonna find a kill. Yeah, Trevon actually goes down. Still only level 4. There's absolutely no chance in this. And it's looking quite rough for Unleashed again. They're gonna get hyperspace, but Kelvin almost level 9. Okay, Kelvin is almost level 9. Got so much experience on top side. He's gonna be absolutely chunking them. There's one Spirit Checker already landing, and Klaus is just jumping into them. You can follow these extreme speeds. Another Spirit Checker lands. But they still have so much sustain as well. Edgar's <laughs> popping the X attack there. As well, was an X attack. Yeah, X attack was popped. And they're gonna start this threat now. Let's see if Kevin looks for Unite move first. It's always awkward, like, you want to Unite move, but you also want to have Spirit Check ready for the last hit, so you can't really do both at the same time. Gotta decide what you want to do. And they just let them die. Hooper goes down, Trevenant goes down. They're not doing anything right now. I'm not sure what Unleash is doing, but they're so scared. I'm really surprised that Kevin has not Unite moved yet, but we see also has Unite move. There, there it goes. Um, that's gonna get shaded. He cancels it just for move speed. He won't, no one's the last hit. Can he get it? And he does find it! Nicely done! Kevin gets the spirit check last on Dread. Very patiently. He's able to snipe it away. Klaus is gonna die though. And Pogchamps are gonna look for the dive. Sayu only level 7 though. Actually has triple Excel as well. 
It's a triple excess Serena. Just noticed. Another spirit checker comes through. Kevin's gonna claim another kill on Blissey any moment now. There's the crit. Gets him with the basic attack. And uh, great early game now for Unleashed. Turning it around a bit. It was pretty weird though. They were hesitating quite a lot there. Just let Hooper and Trevenant die. Kevin looking for these last hits. Has to be careful though. I think he's gonna die. Yep, he's gonna die. He's running to the other side. Just to make sure that no one else dies of his team as well. Bit too wide extended there. Gets caught off. Serena now almost 7 8. Got the triple Excel as well. Not sure about the triple Excel. I don't know, maybe he sees something I'm currently not seeing. But I really expected that maybe there's the stomp as well to just completely run over the Decidueye. And yeah. I'm still very surprised again that he has actually picked Serena over the Lucario. We have Rotom up, Yoshi is looking for a score, but Xanti's there. He's gonna try to spin on him. But the Giga Drain is. Yeah, can't do anything into the Giga Drain. There's one lens, he's not gonna die. That was actually Unite moving. Blaster is also Unite moving. There's one look for kids. Yoshi has to use his own Unite move there, hitting only the Blasters but keeping himself alive. And he's going very, very deep in the enemy flux zone. Hyperspace comes off. Hooper's gonna port towards top lane. No, actually staying bot lane. And there's the kick. The Unite of Serena goes into the Sidrai, but can he find anything? Not really. They do get one kill. Actually, they still get two kills in the end. Blissey is securing both of those, getting a double kill. And Rotom is now being taken as well. Hyperspace comes off on top. Next Rotom is uh, Dreadnought's up in 20 seconds. And they're not going to be able to defend this Rotom though unless they want to. By the Hypers, this is the where Hyperspace is also very clutch. They can defend this and still be here as well. Very, very fast even without Hooper Unite. But Hooper's trying to find level 9 here so he can still port them in with his Unite move as well. So they can just clear this and this is why Hooper is so broken. You can do something completely on the other side of the map and still be at the most important objective anyways just in a second. Thanks to Super Unite move or Hyperspace as well. There we go, they get potted in. Already Lucari is still staying top. Nope, also potting in now. Rotom is cleared. And yeah, this is also why Rotom feel like loses so much value in the Hooper games. Just because Super allows your team to have so much more macro. No other Pokemon allows your teammates to just be anywhere. And the Dreadnought's happening. This is the last time everyone can use their Unite moves. So I assume it's gonna be a, like... But Venus doesn't have it as well right now. Venus has no Unite, Lucari has no Unite. Um... It's gonna be quite interesting. And Unleash is very scared again. They're just gonna look for the Spirit Checker pokes first, see if they can land something. And Sai is jumping in very deep already. Servas now popping his Unite before the Hooper. Dreadnought is very far pushed out, though. It's gonna leash back again. And they have to do something now. They have popped Hooper Unite. Kinda wanna do something now, otherwise it's kinda wasted and they might not be able to fight anymore. And it's gonna time out any second now. Hooper and Bone is timing out right now. And now Sai is looking for the Triple Axel. Goes on double grassy glide, goes on to Klaus. Klaus just popping fully there and spirit check it. Hits Sayu. Serena just dies. Venus was very, very deep now. Does full here the Blasters Unite. Wood Hammers are coming through, but I feel like it really just doesn't do anything. I'm not, I'm not, I feel like I'm not feeling the Wood Hammer Trevenant yet in these games. Does it right Unite hitting Venus on? He's actually gonna die. Yes, he dies. The last, the last big shot of the knock knock. Knocks him out. And Dread is now being attacked. It's dropping under half HP. We do have the Spirit Shackle again, but Sayu is looking, I think Sayu has Unite move again, so he might look for something, but he kind of just dies again. Yep, Sayu dies again. I still don't understand why he picked <laughs> necessarily this Pokemon in this round. Maybe being a bit too overconfident and being like, we can beat you with Lucario, let me beat you with another Pokemon as well. Let me show you that I don't need Lucario to beat you guys, just to maybe demoralize them a bit. But it's not looking good so far for this arena. His team though, on the other hand, is doing quite well still. They have a decent point lead of 80 points. Another Rotom is spawning as well. Let's see if they take this one. Would be quite nice for them. It's gonna go into a tier 2 goal. So, it could be some pressure during Zapdos. Alright, 20 seconds until Zapdos spawns. 20 seconds until Zapdos spawns. We have a level 13 Venusaur, highest level in the game. We have a level 12 Decidrui. Looking for his level 13. Still pretty far away from it though. So the damage output from, from the Sidrai might not be quite there. Might not be quite there. This Venusaur. Venusaur with three supports on level 13 is absolutely insane to teamfight into. And again, Pog Champs in the lead again. Let's see if they play this time the macro a bit better and don't allow backcaps to happen. Like last time, because last time they were kind of forced into a Zapdos due to getting back capped. And Xanti again just looking behind their backs right now. Seeing if they maybe get distracted or something and don't pay attention to this. Being very sneaky on the side there. We have Sayu fighting Lucario on top side. And Sandy's still in the flank right here. The what time must come out, but there's too many shields. Too many shields, a safeguard as well, it just doesn't do anything. He actually Horn leashes back into the hyperspace, gets back to full HP. Would be funny if he would like travel with the enemy Pokemon in his Horn leashes right to his base, doesn't happen. 
And Salyu just on top lane, scoring 44 points, Lucario not joining his team, and let's go look for the team fight. Gekugami going with the Horn Leech. A nice spirit check in, double, double Woodhammer lands, also Unite moving up, but they can't do anything, they still go behind them. Xanti actually gets it though. Like, Xanti is able to get the back cap right in behind them. And actually back cap. And all the team fights is happening, rapid spin is happening as well. Like, walking back to their goal, Klaus is looking for anything, can find, but Trevenant is already dead. Really not doing much in these games whatsoever. Um, nice, nice Unite by Xanti though, but too many shields as well again, it doesn't really do anything, but Sayu. The Serena is yet down again, and Yoshi is trying to cap! He was trying to cap, has to get the Night Wolf now, Blissey Knight also coming on to off of him. They're just running Xanti down, Xanti is gonna die any moment now, Xanti gets picked off by the double Shadow Ball. And this is looking great for Pog Gems. they have a huge lead runner of 120 points. And Unleash has 30 seconds to do Zapdos and score, which means they just have to make sure they don't walk into the Zapdos pit. And Pog Gems will be taking this win. Klaus is now hitting Zapdos, but there's only 20 seconds left, and I think that's game. Hooper dies, Disenjoy dies, double kill for the Hoop on bot side. And Pogchamp is gonna take it 2 0 over Unleashed in Group A in the opening match. Even with the Serena, not really doing much, his team still performing very, very well. And the Protect the Venusaur team come just strong in this one. Can't deal with it whatsoever. Pogchamp takes a 2 0. GG's. Damage numbers. There we go. The same, just enjoy with a lot of damage, but just not enough. It is just not enough.